This is IBM Museum. And this video, I'm in front of the IBM info window. There's not a number or anything else off thread. It's a, um, a 3471, I believe. I've got a page for it that I'll go through and review. And get to where I can interact with it. And this is a um, for a connection to a IBM mid-range system like the uh, System 36 or 38, System 38 or um, AS400. And let's go through and scroll just through this information. We did see the Info Window 2 and Info Window G in prior videos. And there it's showing the pricing. This is $1989. I don't know for an inflation uh, calculator what that would come out to um, currently. And this is a green screen submodel. Certainly you can go through and pause at any point in the video to read the text. And a lot of the size is the same as the Info Window 2 displayed after that I, I featured previously. Now the info window itself does not have a um, the ability for a printer session, and we'll need to look. I don't want to go through and modify any of the uh, station address for this particular unit. It's been the system console for my AS400. Of course, I I realize I can go through and easily set that again. And probably when it comes to the point of the operation of the of the AS400 for showing the screens of the system console or a uh, terminal that's attached to that, I'll revert to that info window G, which I was so easily able to capture the text to that unit. And we're about halfway through this information sheet. Okay, the following are not available. It talks about that video output and a printer port. Uh, like we saw with the, the video output with the Info Window G and the uh, printer port with the Info Window two and that info window g as well as a lot of the earlier terminals like the 3197 this would be more like a replacement for the 3196 terminal being it's mono, uh, monochrome and um, doesn't have the printer session undoubtedly in the sheet we might we might see where this is um, is set up to uh, emulate a um, a 3196 terminal. Okay, getting closer to the and. 3471 shipped with two security keys. If keys are lost, <laughs> the video element should be set to the IBM Surface Exchange Communication Center. 
Most locksmiths or hardware stores can provide additional or replacement keys. Now I'm going to check into kind of analyzing those keys a little bit more. That's um, interesting talking about saying it in for um, if you lose the key. So. And I've determined that those are not necessarily key to light. In fact, I have um, some other Info Window 2s that I was surprised. Uh, I think they came from the same source and just every unit seems to have a different uh, key. And that'll help me with the uh, analyzing those key types and what they mean by the codes and to see if it's easily able to go through and uh, make a, a replacement key for some of the units that I do not, do not have keys. Because I am not sending the display unit into the uh, IBM. I don't think they do that anymore. Okay, and we're seeing a little bit of the pricing again for both the uh, one and the three year warranty. Products installed Chicago. Don't know why that's uh, why they're identifying Chicago uh, differently in that aspect. Okay, and we are to the end of that announcement letter. So we're going to go through and. I'm not going to change anything, but I'm I'm going to go through and to um, to power the system on. Um, this is the um, the view from my webcam. I will likely go through and to move that out of the way, and I also have the ring light of my camcorder off, uh, just because that was messing with uh, the displayed video, the the focus. Um, when I was working with that info window too. And so we'll get the webcam out of the way. And I'm gonna go through, I'll hold down the um, space bar as I power it up just to look at the configuration. Now, this is the 101 key keyboard or I don't think I need to count keys. I think it's 101 keys, I don't think it's two. Uh, 102 keys um, but we have the same sort of screen of the customized workstation update serial number and test workstation now the info window it, itself it doesn't have that PS2 port for the uh, for the point device or the mouse and this is currently set to the display address of zero character set as multinational Going through for the F8 key for the more. We have keyboard type as standard or user defined it such a standard. And we just have the, of course the backward and then the save and exit with F3. We have the serial number that we could go through. This is from plant 88. I don't know off the top of my head of what that is, but the same thing with the, um, as we saw with the info window too, we can go through and adjust that serial number uh, for those uh, positions. Of course, the uh, first two positions is the, um, I need the spider around that we had on this keyboard before to get the fly. Um, you know, you, you wouldn't necessarily change the manufacturing plant in this instance, but you could go through and update the serial number F3 to exit this key, um, this uh, screen. And then the test workstation. And there we have the, as I say, the block cursor, but we don't have any mouse to move that around. Just go show, through and shows the varying text uh, styles. And actually identifies this as a 3476 um, terminal type. So we'll go through and go back to the uh, screen. I'm going to go through and 
F3 to exit, puts us on where we have the line at the bottom and it lists the cursor position as the first row 80th character in this offline mode. And we didn't go through and change anything to the station address. I'm gonna go through and turn it off. On the front panel, you can see the intensity control, the keyboard plug, which is that RJ45 connector, the keys in this unit. And these keys are not made for this unit in particular. They will not operate that lock, uh, but that's a view of the keys. I think these do work in one of my info window two displays. And then we have the um, power switch. This is on a the so-called tilt and swivel base. So it does have the ability to go through and swivel cut well or adjust the angle of the screen to the operator. The, um, we'll go ahead and disconnect the power. On either side, there is not any sort of Connections like we would have with the um, Info Window 2. And on the back, we have, I'll go through and disconnect. And this is the last terminal I was covering before my live stream because I've got to clear all this out of the way and uh, to make way for that, uh, the subject of the live stream. But on the back, we have the twin X connector. It's that standard DB15 uh, and the and the little pass through uh, twin X connectors. But you'll notice that you know besides the the power connection, um, there is not any um, printer port connection or anything I've got for that for effectively for a printer session from this device. So that is the standard info window model. On here, it, on the front badge, it also identifies as a 3475. So I stand corrected as far as the numbering to this unit of what I was reading, but um, that information from the page, which I will link in the video description, is applicable to this unit. So I'll get turned around the right way, facing the webcam again. And if you enjoyed this video, click on that like button, please, and subscribe to my channel if you have not uh, done so already. Uh, it's great. My subscriber base is, is growing. I hope to have a lot of people present for the live stream tomorrow. I do those at uh, 10 a.m. my local time, Mountain Standard Time, uh, which is GMT minus 7 every Saturday morning. And I typically do them from YouTube itself, although, um, and there's a link to that to set the reminder for that to once I go uh, live um, from my from my channel listing and you know hope to see you there we're going to go through and unbox a veritable unicorn on the PS2 side the model 90 that's a type 0 complex in it and those are very rare models to come across, especially new in box like the unit I have. So look to see you there. But that's all I have for now. This is IBM Museum. Thank you.